Hi, this is Jenna Mobley, the Director of Education at Community Farmers Markets based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Strawberry season is one of our first signs of spring here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today, we are going to read The First Strawberries. It's a Cherokee legend retold by an award-winning Native American storyteller, and it tells the story of how strawberries came to be. I love this last line. To this day, when the Cherokee people eat strawberries, they are reminded to always be kind to each other, to remember that friendship and respect are as sweet as the taste of ripe red berries. Enjoy. The First Strawberries, a Cherokee story retold by Joseph Bouchat. Long ago, when the world was new, the creator made a man and a woman. The two of them were made at the same time so that neither would be lonesome. They married, and for a long time, they lived together and were happy. Then one afternoon, the man came home from hunting and found that the woman had not yet begun to prepare their meal. Instead, she was out picking flowers. The man grew angry. I'm hungry, he said in a cold voice. Do you expect me to eat flowers? Now the wife too became angry. She had picked those flowers to share their beauty with her husband. Your words hurt me, she said. I will live with you no longer. She turned to the west and began to walk toward the sun. Her husband followed, but her steps were too quick. He could not catch her. He called her name, but she could not hear him. He went as fast as he could go, but his wife was much faster. The son watched as the husband followed her. The son saw how sorry the man was and took pity on him. Are you still angry with your wife? asked the son. No, said the man. I was foolish to speak angry words, but I cannot catch her to tell her I'm sorry. Then I will help you, said the son. The sun shone its light down on the earth in front of the woman. Where its light shone, raspberries grew up. The berries were ripe and looked good to eat, but the woman paid no attention to them and continued walking. The sun tried again. It shone down and blueberries grew. They glistened brightly in the sunlight, but the woman paid no attention to them. She only walked on towards the west, leaving her husband farther behind. Now the sun tried a third time. Where its beams touched the earth, blackberries grew up. They were dark and plump, but the woman's anger was too great and she did not see them. At last, the sun tried its hardest. It shone its light down in the grass right in front of the woman's feet and strawberries appeared. They glowed like fire in the grass and the woman had to stop when she saw them in front of her. She knelt down and plucked one and bit into it. She had never tasted anything like it before. Its sweetness reminded her of how happy she and her husband had been together before they quarreled. I must gather some of this fruit for my husband, she said, and she began to pick the berries. She was still picking them when the man caught up to her. Forgive me for my hard words, he said to her, and she answered him by sharing the sweetness of the strawberries. So it was that strawberries came into the world. To this day, when the Cherokee people eat strawberries, they are reminded to always be kind to each other, to remember that friendship and respect are as sweet as the taste of ripe red berries. The end.